Marcus Radich from PageProof, thank you so much for being here as part of Creative Pro Conversations. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me along. It's good to see you again. It is. It's really good to see you again. Uh, so, Marcus, you you are PageProof creates this tool called PageProof, and PageProof Surprise is about proofing and uh, proofing pages. And we've talked about uh, in the past about what kind of pages you can proof, uh, including InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, PowerPoint, I mean, video. You're proofing all these different kinds of pages. I think that's fascinating that you, you've sort of expanded out from the original world of PDF to everything. Yeah, web pages as well, because people say to us, oh, look, PageProof does pages, including web pages and banners, which banners are sort of pages. You know, there's, there's lots of ways you can, you can uh, put this, but we say to people, look, basically, we're the platform that you can proof everything. So mm. anything from a creative perspective, you can proof it through our platform. There's, there's no restrictions on the type of media that you want to proof through our platform. And it, the, so any kind of media, I mean, audio as well? Yeah, so you can upload MP3 files, and just recently we supported uh, added support for WAV files, so you can put uh, high-res audio through as well. So wow. that works well for people doing uh, commercials, you know, sound bites, and you know, all those sorts of things. They can all go through as well, and you can mark up the audio, um, which is which is fun. That's great. I I think that honestly, all of that's great. But what I need it for is more the traditional. Uh, Adobe Creative Cloud tools. You know, I'm I'm in Illustrator or InDesign or Photoshop all day, and I need to be able to send those out to a client or a some stakeholder uh, for them to to review. And you just make that so easy with the tools directly in the app. I mean, you've you've embedded this stuff right inside the Creative Cloud apps as well. Yes, yes, that's a that's been a great thing. We've been doing this now. I think we had those extensions inside the Adobe Creative Cloud since 2015. And what you've been able to do is send your proofs directly from your application. So you don't need to leave InDesign or leave Premiere Pro. You can just send it out. And it goes out to a workflow. So you can go out to multiple people at once or stage it through. And they can all leave feedback. But the, 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 big, uh, the big feature there is that you can bring the feedback back in mm -hmm. and it lays that feedback up over the top of your artwork. And in the case of InDesign, we can even swap out the uh, copy changes as well, which is quite nice directly inside the InDesign file. So that works really, really well for us. And just recently, we added the ability for you to connect your project that you're working on inside of InDesign or any uh, Photoshop Illustrator connected over to monday.com and Asana directly from inside of those apps. So yeah. just bringing all the tools together is, is really what we're about. That's that's huge. And that kind of integration with the other workflow tools is important. But you also use the, the um, I don't remember the word you use exactly, but it, it's the idea of a workflow is a big part of what differentiates what you're doing from the tools that Adobe gives us. I mean, Adobe already has that PDF, uh, the fact that you've thought through and the fact that the workflow includes a lot, typically a lot of different people. It's not you're sending to one person and getting uh, feedback. You're sending it to a team of people or you're sending it to this team and then this team and then this team. That kind of workflow uh, you do better than anybody and it's it's really um i mean you've 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 thought it through it it works yeah we've been doing it for a long time as i said i think adobe just recently added it as of mm. only a few months ago we've been doing it now for eight years so it's something that we've deeply thought about and cared about and those workflows are something that are really really important because just sending it out to everybody and then getting back all those things at the same yeah. time is, right. is not ideal. Right. Um, so, so the workflows allowing you to stage it and bring it through to those teams as you like, and also giving those team members a dashboard so they can just click in, look at all the proofing right. they need to look at. So we're getting them out of their inbox, um, which I think is a, is a really good thing. Just get them to a nice dashboard. Here's the 12 proofs they need to sign off today. 
so yeah. they can work through those. So that works really well. I love that. I love that. Um, the other, another thing that you do uh, better than other other than competitors out there, and like like Adobe is. Um, Actually, it's funny. I mean, Adobe, I say, is a competitor, but in f they, you have this relationship, right? I mean, yeah. you're yeah. you're enhancing what Adobe and Microsoft and other companies out there are offering. So, uh, anyway, uh, another thing that you do on top of all of of that is these tools, the tools that you're building into the uh, in, into page proof. I'm wondering, it might might even be easier just to show some of these if if you don't mind walking yeah. through because i think seeing you got to see it you have to understand what it looks like to be inside the page proof environment yeah absolutely and i'll share my screen now and just quickly show you a couple of things that we have added that okay. are outside of just standard markup just a few things that you can Great. do so let's have a look at some of the things that we've made available inside of page proof for our uh, for our customers so this is the page proof proofing screen and You'll notice over on the right hand side, it's popped up over here is a checklist and this checklist you can attach at the time that you're creating a proof. These checklists can be customized uh, in any sort of way and you can even group up these checklist items into folders for different departments as they want to check them off. The idea here is that you can just check off when you've checked the copy and oh yes, I've gone through the fonts and colors and logos. I'll check that off as well. And this is a communal checklist on the proof, which means somebody else could check the QR code, somebody else could check the die line, but the combination of all of our efforts is represented on one checklist. And you could even connect that checklist to the approve button. So until all of those items are checked off, you can't approve the proof. So there's lots of things you can do with these checklists, but they are a great feature and it goes it harks back to the days where you want to guide people through um, the things that they need to check inside of the work. So uh, these have been a great addition to the PageProof platform. I love checklists. I, I just love this uh, because so often when you're sending out a proof, you're putting this in email. Oh, can you check these nine bullet points or whatever it is? And someone is inevitably going to forget, right? Because it's like they're going back and forth through an email and acrobat or whatever and it's that's just a crazy workflow putting this right here inside the proofer itself is uh, be inside this ui is just brilliant and i love that you can templatize this so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you just say okay i'm sending out this kind of document again here's this template for this kind of checklist and you just choose it oh it's yeah. just it's really sweet it's really really great and and we've had a huge amount of positive feedback people absolutely love it and uh, yeah, they, it makes it a really great experience for the reviewers because you can actually guide them through the things. If they're not an yeah. experienced reviewer, uh, at least this gives them some sort of guidance on what they need to do. Um, some additional things we've got over in the PageBrief interface are things like you know technical information and the ability to bring in grid lines and rulers and things like that. So this is kind of useful. You can see over on the left-hand side, I've clicked in and it's showing me, hey, this is a five color print job. It's showing me the fonts. So if you're wanting to, if you're very, very um, touchy about the fonts that we're using, you can see them and the subfamilies as well. So those have been extracted out of the work to make sure that we're staying on brand with fonts. But grid lines, which you can switch on, this will be very familiar to Adobe users. You can just pull in the grid lines. So your reviewers can actually go through and make sure things are lining up the way that they would expect, which is love it. very, love very that. handy. Yeah, and of course the ruler tool where you can measure elements and we recently added a diagonal measurement inside of there which was uh, a bit of fun. Oh, so now we can see the width and height but also the diagonal which is which is also useful as well. I hadn't noticed that. That's great. I like that. Yeah. You know, I, I think you, you went through quickly but I think that whole idea of having the fonts, showing what fonts are being used and colors, that is enormously yeah. helpful because typically – it's like, I don't know if it's the right font. I don't know, you know, what font do they use? And then you have to understand Acrobat and you're trying to dig around. And this is just so much easier. So it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. It does make a big difference. It absolutely does. And something that we just released uh, for the platform is the ability to extend the tools. So 
you'll mm. see we've got these four icons over on the left hand side here which are commenting and zooming and all those sorts of things mm -hmm. your reviewers your um proof owners when they're setting up the proof they can add in some extra tools so we've we've put in some basic ones so you can very simply just go into the tags of your proof and you can add in here an x tool so i'm going to just add in a calculator for example and just add that in and i might also decide hey you know what i want a calendar so just add in the two tags and wow. what that does is now that extends the tools that are available for the reviewers so now you'll see over on the left hand side we've got a calculator and a calendar so if you click on the calculator <laughs> tool now we've got a calculator built into your proofing experience and if you want a calendar so you can check your social media calendars against what's oh actually gosh. going on in the days you've got that now as an extension. So these are the PageProof X tools, which enable you to add on the fly extra tools for your proofing experience. So these are great, and we are making this available for customers to add their own X tools huh. uh, later on at down the track, which is going to wow. be really great fun. That is, that's amazing. That's the first time I've seen that. That is, this is a new, brand new tool, right? That's just, just came brand out? New. Yeah, brand new. So this has only been out a few days. So X tools are available um, now for all PageProof customers to use. And I love that you can add these kind of tools because it's a complete in the cloud browser based solution. You can just roll this stuff out. You can just build it in. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Absolutely. And, and when customers say, hey, I'd like to build an X tool just for my team, mm -hmm. then we can also facilitate that. So if they have any special digital asset management system that they'd like to make available there, or uh, wow. they'd like to have any sort of uh, tool available, they can talk to our team and we can uh, add that in so they can extend the proofing experience, which is why we called it X tools. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn more about that. There's a brand yeah. new thing, brand new thing yeah. to learn about. Um, this is really cool. Uh, yeah. Again, I love that the team You've developed this team of experts who understand the workflow well, understand that the underlying needs of design professionals around the world. Um, it is really international. I mean, you, you have been, you've got clients on at least six continents, I think. I, I, it goes a lot further than that. So we're going, I think we've counted up, it's 130 countries around the world. Oh my gosh. Proof. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a really, really great um, uh, success story for us. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people need proofing and what we've been doing is keeping up with what people are proofing so you know as we said we've said previously things like canva have sort of come up as well so the mm -hmm. adobe tools are definitely the staple but also things like canva have really come through and figma as well so a lot of proofing done in figma so by Great. us keeping keeping um, up with those um, with those new features and new um, tools coming through it's been a really great experience for our customers. I love that. So any any team, uh, you know, I, I've I've said I've sort of joked before that that if you work all by yourself, this is maybe not for you. But any team that has to, because uh, nobody works for themselves anymore. It's we're all connected, and that's yeah. why any team is going to be interested in in learning more about PageProof. Which of course you can go to PageProof.com. You've got a free trial. It's easy to sign up. It's it's surprisingly easy to get up and running in. I mean, I, you've really done a nice onboarding with uh, to help people into the system, uh, and it's all right there. So I I just want to encourage people to play around with it. I think I think people will really like it. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you. And I think it's a it's a, it is you're right. It's a it's a really great experience, and we also have a great support team. So if you do have any questions, you're not going to be sitting on hold for half an hour. Um, we're right there in the dashboard. You can pop it up and you can ask us a question and our team are right there to help you. So we do know about production deadlines as well. As I said, we are from the industry. So we know that when you need some help, there'll be somebody there to help you. So that's also a big part of the PageProof offer as well. Well, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to walk us through and show us PageProof, show us some of the new tools like the X tools. That's very, very cool. Uh, it, it's just, it's important to understand I believe that's important to understand. If you're going to be efficient, truly efficient in the design world, you need to look beyond just that little tiny ecosystem that you're, the little vacuum you're living in, the little bubble of, of just Adobe tools or just Microsoft or, or whatever, Canva. 
um, you need to look at the bigger ecosystem, the way that all the stuff can fit together. That's how you really take that quantum leap into efficiency and productivity. And I, I really feel like PageProof is a big part of that, uh, that network, that web that will help people get uh, to where they want to go. So, uh, so again, thank you for sharing all this. It's good, great. No, no problem at all. Thank you very much, David. Really, really good to talk to you again. All right. Take care. You too.